Welcome to InThisCornerTV.com. I'm Smitty with Amir Khan, one of the rising stars in boxing, coming off that big win over Barrera. First off, tell us about that fight. I know you would have liked it to, to end in a different fashion. Still with you, the winner, but tell us about that fight. Yeah, it was a brilliant fight. You know, um, Barrera, was, um, he, Barrera wanted to come and win the fight. He wanted, be, he wanted to become the first fourth, four-time world champion from Mexico, and he was ready for it. And, you know, I had my training camp with Freddie Roach, is my third champion for my next fight as well. But for the last fight, I trained against Bro, I trained with Freddie, and the hard work was done in the gym. You know, we went there, we were 100% confident we were going to go and win the fight. And the game plan was in my mind, you know, nice and fresh. Barrera is not the fighter he used to be, but going in with a guy like that who has so much experience, so much craft, uh, what did you learn? Yeah, I learned a lot. You know, Barrera's a legend. I'm a big fan of him. You know, when the, when the fight was announced, he, he gave me that extra motivation and that extra push, you know, knowing that you fight someone like Barrera. You know he's got that experience and he can pull a fight off uh, in the later rounds with his experience. Uh, but, you know, we had to stay sharp and keep our mind clear and be careful, be patient. And that's what we did in the fight. You know, I'm still a fan of him. He's a great fighter and it's just a shame, you know, his career ended like this. Sometimes uh, an early blemish in your career can motivate a fighter even more. You had the one hiccup. Uh, did that in any way, or do you think that will in any way help you? That's right. You know, it's helped me a lot. Since the hiccup, you know, since the defeat against Prescott, so much has changed in my boxing career. You know, coming to L.A. and training with the wild card gym, Freddie Roach, and uh, training alongside Manny Pacquiao, uh, sparring with him as well. You know, it's changed so much. You know, give me more. it's given me more belief and more confidence in this game. And now going into um, the fighting for the WBA 140 World Championship title um, on the 27th of June, you know, I can't wait. Uh, whoever knew, you know, within three fights of the defeat, I'll be fighting for a world title. Uh, it's just crazy how things go. But, you know, I've been working hard. I think I proved myself a lot in the Barrero fight. You know, even though, you know, I, th I wish it could have finished in a better way. Um, but, you know, I think so much has changed in my style, the way I live now and the way I act, you know, I act like a proper professional. You know, I mentioned going in there against Barrera, but training with Freddie Roach and alongside Manny Pacquiao, is there a better education for a fighter? No, it's not. You know, I think this is the be best education you can get. You know, you're with the pound for pound best fighter in the world who's faced the best fighters in the world. And um, you you're alongside one of the best trainers in the world as well, which is Freddie Roach. Uh, he's been there with the best. And, you know, I think he, he's the one who can take me to the top. You know, he can take me to the next level and be, make me become the world champion and a, and a legend like Manny Pacquiao. What do you think you need to work on most right now with your game, Amir? Well, you know, I've got the speed, I've got the power. Um, I think it's just the experience now, you know. I spend more time in the boxing ring, in the boxing gym as well, uh, picking up these little things, keeping the hands up the defense as well, which is, you know, improving every time, every fight now, uh, working alongside Manny and, and Freddie. Also, you know, we've got um, we've got Michael Mora, who, who works alongside Freddie Roach, who, who helps me as well with my defensive and uh, with my defense and all, everything else, my combinations. But I think the, the thing I need is the experience. You know, as soon as I get the experience and I get the ring generalship, and I know how to um, pace myself and be patient, I think it'll come together then. Tell us what you expect with this upcoming fight and a little bit about your opponent. Yeah, I'm fighting Kotelnik. You know, he's a tough fighter. Um, and, you know, I'm going to just go in there and just do what I normally do. You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to have a game plan, uh, what I'm going to be following. Um, Freddie's going to, you know, be in the corner for the fight. And I'm just going to go in there and get the title off him. He's the champion. He holds a WBA title, and I want that WBA title. I want to become the world champion. I want to take, I want to take that belt home to Britain. And, you know, I think it's going to be a tough fight. He's a come forward fighter. He is, um, he's got experience. He's an, an Olympic silver medalist, just like myself. So it's going to be a tough fight. You know, he's had 30 fights, lost two, drawn one. I've had 22 fights, lost one. So, you know, this is going to be a big test for me. And I think it's the right time for this fight. Best of luck, continued success. Thank you very much. Keep an eye on this young man, Amir Khan, as he heads up the boxing ladder.